Congratulations, Rams. I'm James Pritchett, the Dean of the College of Agricultural Sciences. And it's a pleasure to have you, to honor you on this, your commencement day. You know, if I were sitting next to you now, or, or maybe we were sitting together and talking about commencement, I'd probably see, well, feel the emotions that you are right now. The anticipation that you have for what's the next step to come. The enthusiasm that you have as you remember all that has come before you and what you'll do in the future. And also maybe, maybe a little nervousness too about what the future has in store for you. But I'll bet among all of you, you feel gratitude. Gratitude for those professors who challenged you while you were at Colorado State University, really the heart of the academic part of the institution. I bet you feel gratitude for those academic success coordinators, the ASCs, who helped to advise you and helped to mentor you as you found your life's journey. And also felt gratitude for mom and dad and your friends that were your support network while you were at Colorado State University. So in the midst of this recording, I would encourage you just to reach over and give mom and dad a hug, or maybe text that ASC or that professor who made a real difference in your experience at CSU. We think about the anticipation of what is about to come. We call this a commencement because you're not graduating to something else, but instead a new adventure is commencing for you. And we need you. We need you, Rams. We need you as you help us learn and adapt and steward our natural resources so that we can feed a growing population. We need you to help innovate and develop new technologies that will lead us forward and to make good decisions about which technologies to adopt. We need you. We need you to help teach and to educate and to listen and to co-create knowledge and to problem solve because all of us together as a community need to solve the grand challenges for food and agriculture. I know you're up to the task because I've seen you. In the time that you've been at Colorado State University, you've exhibited leadership characteristics like bearing, how you've carried yourself with adversity, courage, courage to step into those challenges and to help find solutions to those problems. Dedication that you've had to each other and the dependability that everybody knows and trusts that you'll stand alongside them. The enthusiasm that you show in everything that you did and the endurance, the grit to continue when things were difficult. I think a lot about the judgment that you showed while you were at Colorado State University and how you extended a hand to others even when you felt that they may have a different opinion than your own and the justice that you are always in pursuit of as we strive to be a better community. Alongside those characteristics was the knowledge that you had and you gained while you were here and the wisdom that you showed in applying that. And above all, I saw your loyalty, loyalty to be CSU Rams. So now, now's when the adventure commences. And so I congratulate you and honor you and can't wait to see what you'll do. Good luck, Rams. Hello, congratulations graduates. I'm so excited to take a moment to sincerely and wholeheartedly congratulate you for, on your huge success. I'm also grateful to have gotten to join you on your journey and look so forward to seeing where you take your next steps into the future. I hope you remember to uh, stay connected to CSU and let us know where you are and all of the accomplishments you're making. And I really also hope that you reflect on the relationships you made at CSU and remember the lessons that you learned through your classes, your engagement, your friend groups, and all of the other wonderful experiences here. I have enjoyed getting to know you and I'm so very proud of you and look forward to hearing about your next steps in your journey. Congratulations, Rams. Take care. Well, good day, everyone. I just wanted to send a quick note of congratulations to all the 2020 graduates of the College of Agricultural Sciences. You should be so proud of yourselves. We here in the college are so proud of you. You have walked a path. You have written a story, a chapter of your life here at Colorado State in the College of Agricultural Sciences. We couldn't be more proud of you and we can't wait to see what you do next. Please be safe. Take care of yourself. Find some energy to take care of others. Pay it forward where you can and congratulations again. Bye-bye.
As a senior in high school, you could say I was somewhat destined to attend Colorado State University. My great-great-grandfather, Emmett Smith, graduated from what was then known as Colorado Agricultural College in the year 1900. Then, my great-grandmother graduated from the school in 1933, and thereafter, a significant portion of my family, including my three older sisters, also proudly call themselves alums. In fact, my aunt, who was working for the university when I was applying for colleges, threatened, albeit jokingly, that if I didn't choose CSU, I would have to change my last name and move to a different state. Ultimately, though, it was my decision to become a Ram, and it is arguably the best decision I have made to date. This is just a brief snapshot of my story, but I know that each and every one of us in the class of 2020 possesses our own uniquely significant reason for choosing our alma mater. Moreover, in the years we have spent honing our skills and our respective trades here at Colorado State, we have each left our impressions on this campus, and in turn, it has left its impressions upon us in the form of well-earned accomplishments and lasting memories. Let us take these recollections, whether they be of the first time we set foot on campus or the last time we did as undergraduates, of that test we studied all night for, or of the one we probably should have studied a bit more for, of the once unfamiliar faces we now call close friends, or of the professors and faculty members that made that substantial investment in our lives. Let us take these experiences and hold on to them. They have helped mold us into who we are today and have laid the mortar for what we aspire to become. Earlier this year, CSU celebrated its sesquicentennial anniversary. Over the last 150 years, our university has achieved incredible victories, prevailed through challenging circumstances, and evolved to accommodate for our continually changing society. We've not always gotten it right on the first try, and we occasionally falter on subsequent attempts as we strive to improve. But it is that, our constant collective pursuit towards a more perfect institution of learning and a more perfect community, which unites us as Rams. That's a lot to be proud of, and it's even more to be humbled by. It's a creed we should all feel compelled to carry into every aspect of our lives beyond graduation. An influential mentor of mine once told me, the enemy of the best is not the worst, but the good enough. May we never settle for complacency and always strive to advance the needle forward in whatever line of work we each are called to. In closing, I leave you with one final thought. In recent months, I have heard the word unprecedented used an unprecedented amount of times. And now that I've mentioned this, I'm going to take the liberty of overusing the term once more, so I apologize in advance. I certainly do not consider myself to be an expert historian by any means, but looking back throughout history, there's one constant that I believe is immensely powerful. Unprecedented times motivate unprecedented actions by unprecedented individuals. Whether it be our current situation or some future obstacle that we will inevitably face in the coming years, we all possess extraordinary abilities that allow us to overcome hardships with innovative solutions that will leave our mark on history. The question, my fellow graduates, is not what will we do, rather it is how will we do it. I'm Augustus Gill, an alumnus of the College of Agricultural Sciences, and I am, and forever will be, proud to be a CSU Ram. Hello, spring, summer, and fall 2020 graduates. I mean, wow, huh? We did it, graduated in 2020 of all that. Come on, I mean, Give yourself a hand because that is an accomplishment. That's a huge accomplishment. And I have to say from the bottom of my heart, I am so proud of each and every one of you because if you know me, you know that I struggled and I'm sure that a lot of you did as well, but hey, we made it to the finish line. Congratulations. Huh? Diploma. We got it. Four years in, four years down. We did it. Um, you know, in this year we've faced a lot of opposition and I was thinking how I personally was going to bounce back from this hopefully on top um, the verdict still out on that so stay tuned I'll let you know but agriculture has been facing opposition such as this forever now obviously a global pandemic is 
a whole other wrench in an operation, but we've continually problem solved since the dawn of agrarian societies because we always had this unifying creed of everybody eats. We have to do our best to feed as many people as we can. And when we stepped on this campus and the College of Agriculture, when we became an Aggie, that was our creed in one way or another, in whatever unique way that you fight hunger, that's what we're doing. We're feeding people. And so I'm here to give you a message of encouragement to say, you can do it, to say, hold fast, to say, keep doing what you're doing. It's going to get hard. It's going to get much harder. But let's be honest, we're the last however many years hard. Yeah, soil science, plant physiology. I was a hort guy, okay? Some people had to take biochemistry, okay? Do you know how much I struggled in organic chemistry? A lot, all right? So, yeah, it's going to be hard. But if we can graduate from the College of Ag, I think we can do a lot more, you know? I think we can. And I believe in you. And thank you so much for letting me talk. Uh, have a great one. Email me. Go Rams. With the recommendations of the faculty of Colorado State University, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System and the State of Colorado, I hereby confer upon each of you your degree as appropriate with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations all. I cannot wait to see where your journeys take you. Congratulations 2020 graduates in agricultural business, agricultural education, or environmental and natural resource economics. I'm so proud of you and what you've accomplished during these very difficult times. I've seen you learn and grow so much becoming engaged scholars and leaders. You've asked difficult questions and provided thoughtful answers. You've asked for help and you've served each other. You've built strong relationships and become an important part of the DARE community. Thank you so much for all you've done and all you've given us. I'm really excited to see what you do next. So please keep in touch and always remember that you're an important part of the DARE community and we're here to support you. Congratulations, go Rams.
congratulations to the 141 new graduates with degrees in animal and equine sciences from the spring, summer, and fall sessions of 2020. Boy, I'm excited for you. We look forward to seeing how you meet the challenges of feeding a growing world's population head on. Remember that you're alumni now, and don't forget where you've come from, but we'll be excitingly waiting to see all of the great things that you're able to accomplish. Again, my heartiest congratulations to all of you, and good luck.
I'm Jessica Davis, the Department Head for Horticulture and Landscape Architecture, and I just want to share my very best greetings for you all today and give my congratulations. You have worked very hard, and I'm so proud of each one of you for continuing, taking one step after the other, and finishing this degree during this very difficult and challenging time. We are so lucky to have you during this time because the fields of horticulture and landscape architecture are even more important than usual during this pandemic. We so look forward to you growing healthy foods and making the world a more beautiful place and a more peaceful place and designing places that make communities stronger, healthier, and also communities that are good for the environment as well as for humans. And so we know that you will be going out into the world and doing great things. We're so proud of you and congratulations.
On behalf of everyone in the Department of Soil and Crop Sciences, congratulations to the class of 2020. I couldn't be more proud of all of your accomplishments, especially in this most challenging year. I know that all of you are going to be equipped with the knowledge, the experience, and the tools to be successful as you embark on your careers, and that the challenges that you face this year are going to make you more resilient and more aware of all the challenges out there and more aware of your ability to address them. I'm so excited that you chose to start your learning journey here at CSU and can't wait to see as you continue that learning journey what you do with all your, with all your knowledge. I look forward to following you and please stay in touch. Again, congratulations.